the HMS Beagle spent five weeks mapping the Galapagos. Charles Darwin took every opportunity to go ashore and study island life. He explored from coastline to highland and discovered freshwater pools alive with birds. Darwin reasoned that the islands had been colonized by species of plants and animals from South America, but he was puzzled. He had been taught that species were fixed in nature, created by God. He believed that species could not change into something entirely new. but he had to believe his eyes. The plants and animals of the Galapagos were not identical to those on the mainland. It was as if they'd been transformed since their arrival on the islands. Darwin would spend decades making sense of his observations. But for now, he collected specimens by the trunkful. If Darwin had been older or more experienced, he might have paid more attention to the giant tortoises. He ate their meat, but didn't take away any adult specimens. On the island of Floriana, he failed to grasp an important clue about these creatures. He met an Englishman named Nicholas Lawson, who claimed he could tell which island a tortoise came from by the distinctive shape of its shell. Darwin didn't realize it at the time, but giant tortoises are one of the strongest examples of evolution in the Galapagos. <laughs> 